everyone, and welcome to what I call the Booty Blaster 3000. All you're gonna need is a mat yourself, and if you have a band, a band as well, but it's not necessary. We're gonna start without the band. So you're gonna start on all fours, and we're gonna be working the butt and the hamstring a lot. So let's get going with some fire hydrants. So we're gonna start with the right leg. We're gonna open, just hold for a second. I want you to have your arms locked out, your shoulders square, and to make sure that your knee and your foot is in one line, that the knee's not ditched or elevated, and then just continue to open. So everything is moving simultaneously as you open and close. And let's do four more. Here's four and three. Last two, one more time, we're gonna take it to five circles. So circle, if you had a pencil attached to your kneecap, you'd be drawing a good size circle on the floor and then reverse the direction for five. So getting the whole entire hip moving. Here's three, last two. We're gonna take this leg and straighten it behind you, making sure the belly button's pulled in. So a lot of times I see here is ditching that lower back and just trying to get that leg really high. That's not what it's about. Keep the foot in line with the head with the toe facing down and I'm using my butt and my hamstring. Tap your big toe to the floor and then lift back up. Again, making sure that you're not taking it right. You're not just kicking that leg up. It's not what we're looking for. Belly button is pulled in. All hamstring, all butt. Tapping big toe to floor for four and three. We're gonna do two more, we're gonna hold the top. So this next one, hold. You're gonna draw your knee, I'm sorry, your heel to your butt and straighten back out without dropping the knee. So what I don't wanna see is this, right? Yes, I'm bending my leg, my heel to my butt, but I'm dropping my knee. So keep it elevated. Keep those hips square. They're gonna wanna open up here. Let's do three more. And then you're gonna hold, you're gonna pretend that you have a ball in between your heel and your butt, and you're gonna hold that ball as you press up to the ceiling. So if your foot was stamped with ink, you'd be stamping the ceiling, your whole entire footprint would be on the roof, but I still have that ball in between my heel and my butt for four and three, last two, and hold, and then squeeze the ball, release. Right, we're imagining that ball. If you actually have a ball, it's a great place to put it right now. Do just little squeezes, four more, and three, two, and hold back to the pulse up and down. So we're basically gonna reverse this entire thing. We just went up the mountain, we're coming back down the mountain, four more. Here's four, and three, and two. Hold the top hamstring curl, straighten the leg, curl back in. So hips are square, belly button is pulled in, butt and hamstring are definitely on fire by now. Four more times. And three, last two, we're gonna hold the out and we're gonna tap that toe back down and up. So this is the first exercise we did. Well, really not. I guess that's technically our third exercise, right? After our fire hydrants. Four more times and we're gonna hold the top and point the toe for four and three. Last two, last one, hold, point the toe. You're gonna cross over, tap, lift over to the other side of your mat. So you're making a little rainbow over that bottom leg. Make sure too, even though we're definitely focusing on lower here, that like I said, belly button's pulled in, but you're also not sinking in those shoulders. Always pressing into the floor. Four and three, last two, last one. Bring it to center, flex the foot, reach that left arm out, turn a bird dog. Middle finger, I'm sorry, thumb is facing the ceiling. Bicep in line with your ear. And then we're gonna reach a little bit higher, bring everything down. Reach back up. So you have like a little moment of relief at the bottom. And down, last two, reach it out, draw it in. One more time, reach it out, draw it in. This time, just the leg out, bend that leg. You're gonna draw the knee into your chest and then press it back up to the ceiling. So you're kind of making this like, I don't know, maybe like running motion as you move that leg in and press and in and press. Two more times, in and press. This is gonna warm us up for our next exercise. So bring it all the way down and then you're gonna take the band if you have the band, if you want to use the band, and you're gonna quickly just put it on the balls of your feet and then we're gonna flip back into that same position. So keeping that left foot anchored to the floor, the right foot is gonna move. Just don't let that left toe pop off or else the whole thing's gonna pop off. So you're gonna press up to the ceiling, back in. So I say ceiling, but I guess I really mean like the corner of where the wall and the ceiling meet. So we're at so much hamstring, so much butt here. Four more times. Here's four and in and three and in and two and in. Stay out, small ones. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do one more set. So draw it in, press back out. So control this move. Everything is so controlled. Everything's very deliberate that we're doing. Nothing goes untouched in that booty and in that hamstring. Four more and three. Even your left butt cheek, your left hip here, go out and pulse. It's gonna be on fire. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Quickly take it off, put it to the side, flip onto your back, place your right foot, so the leg that we just moved, place that on the floor, and then take your left leg, either bent or up to the ceiling, and press into a glute bridge hold, firing to that hamstring, we're just in a different plane, and then lower back down. We press up. Lower back down, press up, lower back down, press up, three, and down, and two, and down. Let's go up and hold for five seconds to finish it. For five, four, booty cheeks, hamstrings, two, one, lower down. Take that right leg, cross it over into a figure four, reach in between. Oh, I think the stretch sometimes burns more than the actual workout. I do, I think it does burn more than the workout. Release, come on up, flip around, because we have to do the whole thing on the other side. All right, we're moving to the second side. So line yourself up, left leg if we did it together, starting with fire hydrants, opening and closing. As generous as you can without compensating in the lower back and in the shoulders. And then take it to the circles. Again, middle fingers forward, keeping shoulders square, hips as square as possible to the floor. And then reverse. If you had a crayon on that kneecap, you'd be tracing a giant circle on the floor. Two, last one. Take that leg all the way out, squeezing the butt cheek, level everything off. That left hip's gonna wanna hike, bring it down. Tap your big toe to the floor and up. Always, always, always making sure that you are using the booty and the hamstring to lift, not the lower back. So keep that core engaged. Four more. And three, last two. We're to hold the top, hamstring curl, draw it in, press it back. So if I had a string attached to my heel, I'd be pulling that string in to my butt cheek, keeping that knee elevated. Four more, we're to bring it up to the ceiling, kind of into like a little donkey kick. Last two, one more time. Bend the leg and little pulses up to the ceiling. So we're gonna see this like we did on the other side with the band, keeping that heel close to the butt. Four, three, two, and hold, and then little pulses, pretending that you had a ball in between your heel and your butt, and you're just squeezing that ball into a little hamstring curl for four, for three, for two, for hold, up and down again going back down the ladder. So we went up, 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 until we did the pulses, and now we're coming back down, repeating for four, for three, for two. We hold the top, hamstring curl out, bring it in. Always going through your checkpoints of making sure your belly button is pulled in, making sure you're not ditching in the lower back. Everything is square, four more times. Here's three, last two, last one. We straighten the leg, we tap the toe down, lift up, all but cheek. Second side is always worse. I don't think I mentioned that yet. <laughs> it's always harder because we already worked our stability, our standing leg, four more, and three. We're to make our rainbows coming up. So go up and hold, point the toe, cross over, and then come up to the other side and make that rainbow. So making an arch over that bottom leg, making sure that you're not cutting off the top. So keep it rounded as you go up and over. Here's four and a three and a two, and a one. Bring it to center, flex that foot, hold, reach that right arm, so right thumb to ceiling, bicep in line with ear, straight line from middle finger to big toe, and then we bring it all down. You rest for two seconds, you press back out. So core here. We're getting some shoulder mobility. We're still working the butt. Bring everything out, draw it in. Last one, everything out. Put the arm back down, bend the leg, and then we go full range of motion. So right from the hip joint, we're moving. I'm keeping that heel closest to my butt as possible. That knee is driving up into my belly button. Here's two, one more time. Draw it in, press up, lower down. Quickly take the band, 
If you use the band, put it on the arches of the feet again, because we're gonna repeat that banded donkey kick. So flip back on to all fours. Right foot stays anchored this time. Left leg is gonna press back and in. So it depends upon the strength of your band. It's gonna depend upon how much range of motion. I have a medium resistance in, on this band, so it's pretty difficult. Four more, and three. Last two, you don't need a lot, and then start pulsing. Don't need a ton of resistance here. Four and three, last two, one more set. Draw it in, press back out. All right underneath, I call it the thut, where the thigh meets the butt cheek. We wanna reach that to the back wall. Four and three and two, and hold 10 little pulses. Nine, eight, seven, six controlled, four, three, two, and one, bring it down, flip on over, take the band off. The leg that was moving is the leg that we want on the floor, so left foot on the floor, right leg either up to the ceiling or bent, and we press up and down. So making sure that ribs are closed. I'm not arching my back, right? I'm lifting from that lower pubic bones pressing to the ceiling. Three, and down. Last two, and down, go up and hold to end it for five seconds, for five, for four, here's three, two, one, lower down, cross that left ankle over into your figure four, maybe reach through, oh, stretch out that hip. So we just contracted and strengthened a whole bunch. We also want to, at the end, like we're doing, lengthen and give it some stretching as well. So make sure you're always doing both. They're equally as important. Release, hug your knees in, roll yourself up. And that is the Booty Blaster 3000. You can do that with or without the band, but make sure you're really focusing on that lower half, your hips and your hamstrings and your glutes, not that lower back. So let me know if you have any questions.